So, just sitting here, I just did the video for the new Raspberry Pi case, uh, and I also brought another Raspberry Pi, where'd it go? Oh, I also brought another Raspberry Pi, another SD card, uh, so yeah, we're going to be making a whole nother one. Um, this is just a little clean up, a little behind the scenes. I watch a lot of uh, Flossy Cardi, he always talks about, you know, the usable books. So was that, was that too close? Was that, that was too close for y'all? Alright, so Frosty Card always talks about usual books and stuff. This is a JBL. Harmon. You ever heard that name before? Right? Harmon makes the uh, the speaker. Um, I want to say it's like the, the new like Amazon Echo speaker. Um, but that's crazy. I didn't know that Harmon was JBL. So, I got the, uh, the JBL, damn, sorry, listen, this, this is for, this is for the real folks that don't really care about all the nice little production stuff, so, got the, uh, the JBL, uh, the E55, uh, BT, I think the BT stands for Bluetooth, and then the 55, I don't know, what's the difference between 55 and 45? But I might go ahead and read through this and just see what it say. Uh, so LED. Oh, okay. So Bluetooth pairing, Bluetooth connected, low battery, uh, charging complete, charging in process. So let's just see. So it says if it has. Oh, okay. So if it has a solid red. See a solid red light. If it has a solid red, charging it charging is in process. I don't know if y'all can see that. Hold on. Oh. There you go. Power's on, charging in process. Come on, man. Stop playing. Sorry, I got this little crappy ass camera. Whatever. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to get a new one of these cameras. This one I brought for maybe like 80 bucks on Amazon. And I just wanted an actual camera instead of using my cell phone all the time. But it's cool because, you know, the, the phone, I mean, the phone does everything, man. Literally everything. Um, I pay for stuff using Samsung Pay. Uh, you know, I record all my stuff. I don't like recording with the back camera because whenever the I do that, the audio always seems like it's off. So I usually record with the front camera. Plus, it gives me like a like a little viewfinder or like a uh, like a little view screen. But you know, that's that. Um, so you know what's crazy? All right, so I got this whole third bedroom in my house. And at first it was just like a, a empty storage room. We were storing like old blankets and stuff that like, you know, my mom had gave me. And now it's like, yo, I need to make this into, you know, my YouTube studio. I was recording downstairs uh, in front of the, um, in front of the computer, like right off of the webcam. Hold on, I'm going to hook y'all up real quick. Boom. All right. So I was recording off of the, uh, the what's it called downstairs and then um now i'm like i'm gonna use this room as my studio so when i decided to do that um i just i said to myself like yo i need lights now hold on here you go let me show you what i was using as my light at first so you see that that, that light right there with the three light bulbs so that was my light at first and now I know you saw that softbox light. So now I got two softbox lights. Guess, yo, it was like, I think less than $60. Let me, let me double check. Yo, this, this Amazon tablet, man, I'm telling you. I think I might get the new one. It's supposed to be faster. 
Uh, so I think I might save up some cash, go get that one, and uh, and and actually use it, man. A lot of people they they get the Amazon tab, but they don't use it. So let's see. Let's go to your orders. Oh man, we get sleepy. I usually wake up like 3 a.m. Go hit the gym. All right, so this was. Let me see if I can show this to y'all, cause it might not show up. But it's a 55.90, right? It's two of them. So two of these soft box lights, 55 dollars and 90 cents. You know, after tax. And I think this was a prime, so it shipped quick, and I didn't have to pay for shipping. But that was, man, maybe one of one of my best buys all year. Um, I don't want to say of all time, you know, because I built my computer and stuff. But yeah, it, it was a it was a really good buy. Uh, the camera. Let's see, let's see, because I had a there's a Sony CyberShot, I think that that one's called Sony CyberShot. And this will this will tell me if I already bought it because. That's just how, you know, this whole thing works. Um, there it is. Yep, 800W. So this is $86. I purchased this back in 2000, 2016. So two years ago, May of 2016. Because I thought, I was like, yeah, man, let me go ahead and get this camera because, um, you know, It'll actually give me, you know, a real, you know, real life camera. I got this for eighty six dollars and fifty nine cents, and it's a, it's, I guess it's a good point and shoot. Um, it only records in seven twenty, which is kind of crappy, but it is what it is, you know. I mean, beggars can't be choosers, and I'm out at the time, you know, I didn't really have the money to. To be dropping four or five hundred dollars on a uh, DSLR or you know one of those Canon cameras or anything like that, so I do what I have to do. But that that's cool. I might I might go ahead and hook my tablet up with this. So let me see if I can get this open because this is actually a pretty cool uh, pretty cool thing. I don't think I ever really went over it, but what it allows me to do is there we go. So I could put a tablet in here, right, and then attach it to the tripod that I got that 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 I have the camera on, and I could just have my. Uh, have my little viewing screen like boom so I could put the little the little baby one in here you know let me take the cover off so I can put the baby one in there you know watch some some real quick you know Amazon videos or whatever yeah boom so this is all right, you know, like if I wanted to just go ahead and do something, you know, let's see, videos, as a matter of fact, let me go to apps, because I got, uh, I got this one app on here, and I'm telling you, as soon as I figure out how to put this app on the, re the retro pie, game over, absolute game over, you know what that is, it's called mob drill. Right, Mob Joe allows you to watch live TV, and now they're on version 2.0.66. So we're gonna go ahead and accept that. It's gonna download and update. But once that's all done, hopefully it's done before I'm done this video. It's gonna be a long video, so you know you just sit back and chill. Yeah. Like I said, it's just a wrap up, you know, after the. Uh, yeah, you know, after the two videos shoot. Just try to make sure I get some content out there for y'all. People don't realize, yo, 
how much work really goes into it. And I'm lazy. I'm mad lazy. And uh, I thought that I could just, you know, turn the camera on, start shooting, start recording, and magic will happen. It's, it's, it don't work that way, man. YouTube is a, is a whole different, you know, ball game. So, as a matter of fact, since I got, since I got y'all here, oh, there we go, open. That was quick. All right, so let's say, and I know that this is going to be like all kind of like copyrights on it, but whatever, you know, they probably going to take this one down. So we're going to go to, uh, let me, uh, let me. Let me go back to that home page. So I go up here to categories and then I like to come down to shows. Mob Joe is real good for watching, you know, just nonstop shows. So let's say Family Guy. As soon as I tap on it, boom, they jump up and running. All right, you can't hear it. Hold on. The Quahog in the form of a new Disney Channel show boom. called Parrot Bobbers. All right. So that's that's crazy, man. That you could just you know stream. It's 24/7 like that. Then you could also come back to that main page. You go to channels. You get ABC, CBS. What is that? Destination America, HGTV, The Food Network. Uh, oh, oh, I clicked on something. What I clicked on? Bravo. You see how quick that came up? Now this the. This tablet is a low-end tablet. I'm talking like low-end. And if this could run it, I know that the Raspberry Pi could do it. I just got to figure out how to get it on there. Look at that. TNT. Watch that come up. Boom. So, my thing is, if I could get Mob Drill to run on uh, the Raspberry Pi... And I could find a way to hook a remote up to it. Because right now I got a blue uh, a uh, USB video game controller. Let me see. Uh, brought this a couple years ago. It was like $16 on Amazon. But if I could get a Bluetooth or a, a remote control, like an IR blaster, you know, boom, boom, boom. Um, and I could get Modro on the retro. I Yo, I know I work for the cable company. But, yo, I just cut the legs out from underneath of them. That's so, it's, man, listen. Uh, it is what it is, though. You know, I got it. Alright, so I, sorry, the camera just turned off. I must have been recording for too long. But, um, yeah, so, I gotta keep doing my research, keep watching my videos. Um, and, uh, Find either a programmer or learn how to program. YouTube will teach you so much. It'll teach you so much, man. You know what else? I thought about starting a Patreon page so I could start, you know. If, if I could. So, alright. So, here's my thing. If I could start a Patreon page. And let's say. Let's say I only make, you know, like a small amount a month, you know. I don't even have that many YouTube followers, so, you know, when I thought about it, I was like, how am I going to start a Patreon page? I don't even got YouTube followers. That don't make sense. But if I could start a Patreon page and, and I could get that, you know, up and running and, uh, you know, have some people help sponsor the channel to get better cameras, to have, uh, you know, some streaming equipment. I should be streaming this. This should be live. This shouldn't be some, oh, I had to edit this afterwards. Um. It's gonna be kind of uncut. That little, that little, you know, flick back where, uh, you know, the camera turned off. I'm gonna have to edit that out. You know, I'm put the intro and put the exit on. But this is gonna be a long video about me rambling. But my point is, if I could get to a point where I'm making money off of my productions, I'm making money off of my videos, and the time that I put in to making these videos. You know, doing this research, you know, bringing y'all, um, you know, this this tech content, these little, I don't even want to call them hacks, but I mean, you know, little hacks and stuff, then, uh, you know, to me, that'd be worth it. Um, you know, if I can make a little money on the side, 
I won't have to work for uh, the cable company. You know, I'll be able to, you know, go back to substitute teaching, have my, my studio and my production stuff on the side, you know, as like a little bit of a side job, some side income, and uh, eventually try to go full time with this thing, man. That would be awesome. And I was just telling my boy the other day, I said, yo, man, I want to be in front of the camera, but I got to get good at being behind the camera. I gotta get good at the production. I gotta get good at, you know, make sure the lights is going the right way. These lights are probably, you know, all wrong. I don't know. Um, I need to get a microphone, get, you know, the camera, get a better tripod. My tripod don't swivel. I gotta un, I gotta loosen it up in order for it to swivel. And then even then, it don't even do that right. So, you know, it's it's a lot of stuff that goes into this, man. Shout out to Sean Cannell for uh, video influencers and Think Media TV because. Yo, he dropped so much knowledge, it's ridiculous. Um, but, I just wanted to bring all this to y'all. You know, um, share some behind the scenes stuff that goes on after I'm done, you know, recording. Uh, I still got the game going. Let me let me see if I can put that up for y'all. Alright, so I'm about to play some Mike Tyson Punch Out. Um, you know, now that I got everything all set up. So... Once I get, you know, that all done, then, uh, you know, or once I'm just done putting this stuff away, because it's not really a lot of cleaning up. I got this big pile of, uh, you know, cardboard stuff that's got to get put into the recycling. Um, and then uh, I'm going to turn off these bright lights, turn on. Um, matter of fact, let me, let me, let me see if I can show y'all, because I brought these lights. I was going to do... A whole like desk setup. Let me turn one of these off. Uh, there you go. So I was gonna do a whole like desk setup, and I never did. I never did. Yeah, I, I did the desk tour, but I built these desks for like a hundred dollars, and uh, to put all the computers on my computer, my daughter's computer, my wife has got the Samsung decks, but I thought that the lights that I bought had room for light bulbs, so I brought these. He's changing light bulbs. So let's see. There we go. There you go. You got it. Alright. So we got blue, red, green, RGB. Then it'll do like a little flash, right? Or you could have it do what they call a strobe. Alright. Or you can have it do what they call fade. It just fades into the next color. Then there's also a smooth. Smooth is basically the same thing as fade. Um, oh, that's just me pushing. Away. So smooth is the same thing as fade, but you know, it, whatever. But then you also got all these other colors. So hold on. So then you got like all these other colors. You got. Like under the red section, you got all these colors. Under the green, you got all these colors. The blue, you got all these. So it's all right. I'm gonna I'm leave this on uh, fade, and I'm gonna turn that other uh, soft box off. I'm gonna start playing some video games. Thank you guys for joining me for hanging around. Uh, you know, on the on the wind down, uh, it was you know it was great talking to you. Uh, as I always say, this is your boy G R A J S M O. And I'm mad.